what do we see as the key benefits for uh, university interaction? Well, first and foremost, we have access to worldwide uh, expertise, and it really, uh, the Wilson Center is acknowledged throughout the world as a center uh, of excellence for magnetic technology. We have a wider input from uh, ideas and experience, and obviously the, uh, the, the networks uh, you meet with, with different people grows from these relationships. Um, We've got continued visibility and the interest in electrical steels academic research uh, continues. I mean, cause it's, it's vital that we don't stand still. Um, just because we're an established technology doesn't mean you can't improve. And if we don't improve, you'll be buying electrical steels from China in two, three years' time. Um, focus for today, uh, scope for improvements. Um, Perhaps most of the, the industrialists here won't be surprised by some of these comments. The speed of work uh, and the, the actual outcomes uh, from uh, universities and, and research work in general uh, could be uh, improved. Um, how, how to do these things better? Well, some suggestions, I, I think, uh, if you understand better the the relationship or the university or the other organizations you work with won't necessarily be working at the pace you're used to. So you need to build that into your planning steps at the start of these things. Okay, next and final slide, please. So these are my personal views as to what's important to make uh, a successful relationship. All right. First of all, I guess, and today is a good example, you need to find out what's out there and, uh, uh, and what facilities and um, relationships exist. You make time to talk to the appropriate people in the organisations. It's no good, I guess, just ringing Cardiff University or Swansea University. You need to find out who, who to talk to and decide what you want out of these relationships and, and, and define it reasonably well. Um, you really need to understand that the universities or the organisations you're talking to may not be able to do what you want, so, so you need to dis establish that before you, you launch into a relationship. And I think perhaps one of the most important things is uh, communication is a two-way thing. Two, two thing. If you're not hearing something, maybe you're not listening. So, so it's important that you get out and listen and talk to people. And I'll leave you with one thought. I think uh, you'll get more out of any relationship the more you put into it. Okay, so there's my views. Uh, hopefully they'll they'll help. Thank you very much.